important thing is, is to draw attention to the fact that, that in what is called Area C, that is almost 60% uh, of the West Bank, there is very little opportunity, and as in this place, virtually no opportunity for the Palestinians to develop their land, for them to be able to build homes, uh, construct roads, um, get access to water, make sure that they can then get a decent standard of, of life for, for their people here. And I think this is particularly, um, it's, it's particularly destructive, not just because they're obviously denied the, 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 the right to live a, a decent life, but also because around them there, there will be outposts where people do have um, a decent standard of living. So, but today, I mean, the, the reason for coming here, and I'm delighted that the, the governor uh, and um, the head of the village and other people are, are here, is really to draw attention to the fact that without uh, a new and different system applying there, then it's very hard for Palestinians to enjoy uh, the standard of living that they should enjoy and be able to develop their land as they should be able to develop in the future. work electricity down by the road there's a police jeep GCO jeep border police November. Now we are going under the rain to protect the second pylon. Because they probably to try to destroy other pylon. So we try to stop them. This is non-violent resistance in a 20. The truck drives away with the electrical pylon. <laughs> You can also see the power lines that are running to the Israeli settlements along the Israeli bypass road. These 
pylons holding up the electrical lines have been untouched. The only lines that are being taken down are the ones running into the Palestinian village of Atwan.